Hello everybody, it's DR Drake 63 here today. I'm going to talk to you about six months pretty much to the day since I acquired this Glock 19 Generation 5. And um, I have been carrying it pretty much ever since. Now it's important to recognize a couple things when uh, you're watching this video because there's a lot of different ways that people uh, will view their firearms, will view their, their pistols, and will view their concealed carry options. For me, it's pretty simple. Um, I keep it simple. This is a self-defense firearm. That is the reason I carry it. I do not carry this for target shooting. I do target shoot with us. I'd say practicing slash training. Um, but the reason I carry this firearm is real simple. It's for self-defense. And I'm either going to carry this in the waistband or I carry it in my briefcase. Use a little nice little slide uh, it's got this this kind of gator grip on here you can see that this is a size 5 allen but it fits in the pocket right here for e getting this out easily if need be and otherwise nice and handy so she goes to work with me like this every day and when we're not carrying her in the briefcase, we'll use something like this. This is a Galco. You can see the information on here. Talked about this in prior videos. Really like this. Simple, solid, and uh, does real well with a good, uh, a good stout belt. So what's important to realize um, when, when you look at this, is I'm not what you would call a Glock guy. What I mean by that is I resisted Glocks for years. Just thought they were ugly. I definitely thought they were cliche. And I definitely was not impressed with the way a lot of folks who only had ever owned Glocks talked about them as being the best pistols ever. And I'm not here to tell you they are the best pistol ever. What I am here to tell you is... For this purpose, which is concealed carry and self-defense, this is a stock Glock. You can see my, uh, my video about the Pierce base plate. I really like that. If you are looking to have a nightstand gun or carry something only, say, in a briefcase, I'd recommend looking at the 17. But uh, this fits my hand really good, and what it does is replaces... The CZP07, which I carried for three years. For three years, I carried the CZP07 Duty. I thought it was a great gun. I'm a big CZ fan. The only thing I didn't like about it is it had a little bit too much of a profile for in the waistband. My first Glock experience was this 20 Generation 4 10 millimeter. It was a big, square, boxy gun. Obviously not something that's pretty, but what I liked about it is it shot a big, big round, the 10 millimeter, although it wasn't very uh, convenient for carry. Like the capacity with a 10 millimeter, I thought it was a really great concept. When I got the Glock 19, and uh, as you can see, this is from my unboxing video, uh, I was impressed with some of the changes that were made, such as the flared magwell, and uh, I really liked the firearm a lot. Also, as mentioned earlier, I did use a modification on the magazines, which is called the Pierce Base Plate. Please watch that video if you'd like to learn more. As far as uh, concealability and the takedown of this firearm, nothing could be easier. You basically have a, a, a simple, easy to take down firearm uh, that basically is as easy as what you see right here. Empty your chamber, you pull the trigger, there's a little catch on the side, boom, your slide is off, and there you go, voila. That's all it takes. 
Putting it together takes a little bit longer, but not much. Here you see me with a double catch spring, which is a nice uh, newer addition to Glocks. Uh, and what I'm doing here is uh, putting it back together and reassembling it for easy reholstering. So it's ready to go and I'm ready to go. Never had a gun that's easier to take down. When it comes to Glocks, you see a lot of different philosophies on what they look like and what you can do to them and how you can accessorize them. Heck, even some guys built altars to the doggone things. And I'm not here to pick on anybody, but I can tell you how I view it. I view a Glock very much like I view any reliable tool that I have, like this old hammer here. It's not pretty, but the head's very well attached. It does its job, and I can swing this on a 10-penny nail, no problem. Same with this saw. Not pretty. The teeth are sharp, and it'll cut wood, and that's what's important. So for me, my self-defense firearm has to be of that same kind of quality where it's going to last, where it doesn't have to look pretty, but it'll do the job as a tool when I need it. Here's a target at 30 feet. This is 100 rounds, so you can see it's pretty consistent, or at least shoots as well as I can. So as I mentioned, I'm not uh, looking for anything uh, particularly flashy or fancy for a carry firearm, as you saw from that CZ or from this Glock. But what I'm uh, primarily interested in is function, over anything else. And uh, that's why when I say to you, I don't consider myself a Glock guy or that I'm not a fanboy. What I'm really saying is, is I look at uh, my Glock just like I look at that hammer, just like I look at any other useful tool. It uh, is something that I'm not necessarily emotionally attached to in any way, uh, but just very interested in making sure that uh, uh, it's gonna serve me and serve its purpose should the time ever come. And uh, let's hope that that's not the case. But uh, uh, as always, I want to thank you for watching. I want to, again, tell you, uh, I'd highly recommend this firearm. Even if you don't consider yourself a Glock guy, you should check it out. Um, the triggers on these are phenomenal. Uh, right out of the box, it's everything I need. And uh, it, it has what I call man-to-man -man accuracy, which means I can... Uh, uh, definitely unload a lot of lead in a short period of time on a man-sized target at a self-defense uh, distance uh, with, without any, any issue at all. So I want to thank you for watching. Um, this is DR Drake 63 reminding you, please uh, support the National Rifle Association and any other pro-firearm uh, rights, pro-Second Amendment organization that you can because... Uh, our rights are attack right now, under attack right now, like never before, guys. And uh, we all need to hang together. That's the most important part. This is DR Drake 63 saying thank you for watching.